Hi, this is Glenda. I've been playing with um, paper vellum this time and it's not really something to demo. There's heaps of demos out there and I've just been following all of those so I thought I'd sort of summarise all the, the different things I've tried. Um, vellum is a translucent paper and if you want to Google it, you can find out all the history of genuine vellum, uh, which was made from skin. What we have now is a copy. Uh, it's not made from animal skin in the sort that we get in our craft vellum, although I believe there are some places that still use genuine vellum for some things. But as I say, Google it and find out more than you want to know. Vellum comes in all sorts of colours and thicknesses. Um, these are a couple of ways that I've managed to buy it locally. Um, it also comes in patterns and I think I actually saved this as packaging from something. But anyway, you can buy coloured vellum. Um, this one was called Heavy Grade but it was exactly the same as all the rest. It was thin, I was very disappointed, but that was just from the local Kmart. Um, you can get the big 12 inch packs of it. Um, but I must admit I haven't used it in any of my albums, but I'm not really a scrapbooker, so... Um, the coloured ones behave a little bit differently. For some of the things, you actually want the white. Um, it's also sold as parchment paper, because it's what you use in the lovely um, parchment craft that a lot of people do that I won't even attempt. I, I don't have the patience for it. Um, you know, there's beautiful things you can do with that. It's also sold as tracing paper, and some of my original, that's what it was. Um, and draftsmen and things used it, but it's readily available, so that's enough waffling about that. Um, one of the challenges with vellum is adhering it down, so on each card I'll try and tell you how I've adhered each one. You can get special um, glues. This is Scotch vellum tape, and I've used that a bit. I quite like that. Um, I don't have any of the others. There's also sprays and various attempts to hide your vellum sticking. So, vellum being paper, you can do most of the things you can do with paper. So here I've stamped it. And of course, because you're layering a translucent layer, it, it kind of gives a bit more depth than if you just stamped straight on the paper. Uh, so that was using the uh, Inka Dinka Do gear thingy um, to do that. And then of course you can punch it. This was one of the thicker vellums. came in the, the mini pack, but for some reason the yellow is really thick and nothing else is. I believe Stampin' Up! have a thick card one too, but I haven't seen it. Um, and you can do different things with, with a thick one. Uh, like you know, make little boxes and things. So I think with this one I adhered it with glue dots and I put a stronger dot in the middle because I was hiding it with my stamping and my embellishment. So anytime you can hide proper glue, that's really good. So stamping. Uh, these ones have heat embossing. Um, white comes up beautifully on um, vellum and you can get some stunning effects with that. And then I've punched it. This was just a normal weight vellum. And I used just normal double-sided tape because I was hiding it with my lace. Uh, this one, this the original one I saw for this was lovely. Mine didn't turn out quite as well, but I like the idea. Uh, you stamp in a, a yellowy colour and clear heat emboss and then rub a dark ink over it. I think they used a black and then highlighted with a marker to bring out some shadowing. Um, mine's completely different to theirs but I like the idea of that so that was something else and they've just got a glue dot because um, you don't really see it behind that central piece. Um, then you can emboss with your embossing folders. So. Uh, the other thing you can do once you've embossed with your embossing folder is on the reverse side, if you rub it with um, an embossing tool, you will get results a little bit like the parchment craft. Just so it's a sort of a faux parchment craft. So you bring out the, the white in it a bit more by, by emphasising that. Um, some folders, if your pressure is too high, you will 
crack your vellum. If you emboss it with a piece of paper as well, that will help with that. Um, and this one was held on with brads, um, which is a, a that uh, that's one of my preferred ways of doing it because you see no glue whatsoever. You have to be layering, of course, to hide the back of your brad, um, and not you don't always want to put the brad on your cart, but. Uh, and this one I just used little tiny mini glue dots and I find they disappear quite well too. I was quite happy with those. So that was those two. Um, this one I used a brass stencil and rubbed it uh, you know with a light box, I think. Oh no it didn't, sorry, that was another that was a little spellbinders one and I'd simply embossed. Um, and these are both windows. Whoops. Because it's translucent, if you make your card, I don't know if I can catch, if I turn it upside down, it might catch the light into it and you can see how it acts as a window. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Um, so, yes, you're going to end up with a nice little window effect by using vellum. And of course, because it's sandwiched in a window, that's where your glue goes um, because you've got a once again a double layer so you've got to cut a matching hole for each one. Stickers. Um, I was quite pleased I got three different whoops, three different ones using stickers. Uh, what you can do is put a, a sticker down, turn your vellum over and colour the back of it with your permanent marker and then you get this lovely soft stained glass sort of look on the front depending how darkly you colour it'll look more or less stained glass so that was that one and then I used the negative of the sticker um, for this one and I was going to do more to it but I thought on this translucent vellum it just looked so stunning on its own I just left it at that uh, but I was quite pleased with that uh, here's another sticker and what I did was stamp on the back of the vellum, sorry, no, I stamped on the front of the vellum, coloured the back, coloured the back behind the sticker, and then on my cardstock I've stamped two more pieces of the bamboo. So you get this sort of look of dimension, um, but I, I do quite like that effect. Uh, with this one I used a Cherry Lynn lacy die and I've cut out... Um, a, a translucent sort of, I don't know, I suppose it's a doily piece, but it's not really a doily. Um, and that is partly attached with the brad in the middle and partly with some sticky down the sides, which really you can't see. Um, just uh, one eighth inch double sided tape. Because I followed the line of the border, you really don't notice it. And the reason I added the extra stickers are, was because I actually botched my trimming which was nothing to do with the vellum it was just my lack of skill and in order to save everything uh, that's what I did. Leaves. Uh, green vellum of whether translucent or just green makes beautiful leaves and here I've punched some as a little embellishment. Uh, flowers punched out and you can um, use your embossing tool again to give it a bit of dimension and there's my leaves and here's a piece that I've cuddle bugged and punched so it's got several which way up no I am holding it the right way I think I've made it upside down actually I think it was supposed to go the other way up never mind nobody else knows that glue um, these were stuck on with hot glue because nobody's going to see it behind um, the other layers and behind the pearls uh, and then lastly you've got layering sentiments. This one I've, uh, I don't know how well this will show up, but I've embossed the part, the vellum on the top and I've put my sentiment on the cardstock underneath so you get this very muted look. And then this one I've stamped and coloured the card underneath and put my sentiment on the top of the vellum. So you get, you know, you soften different parts of it and it gives you that sense of depth again. So that's my playing with vellum. Um, I'm not sure if that little summary is helpful to pull things together or not, um, but I feel I've exhausted vellum for the moment. I know there are many other things you can do with it because, it, you know, if you can do it with paper, you can possibly do it with vellum. Um, but that's what I've been doing. And uh, so thank you for watching.